Hi, I'm Photo Fonz, and today we're going to be talking about a really interesting lighting technique. It's called painting with light. And it's really nothing new. It goes back to the early 1900s. And I used to use it in the film days. However, I did it um, on a wedding using a bride and groom, and we would use sparklers. But that's a different story. But today, I'm going to share with you a really simple and practical way that you can use this for your small products. Uh, whether you're photographing a small object or a piece of jewelry, uh, it's also going to be very simple and economical. So let's talk about the tools that we're going to be using. Okay, first, the, the light that I'm going to be using to paint with, it's a 24 bank LED lighting unit here. And if I click it again, it has three LED lights on the side. So I'm going to be using these three LED light units. And just in case you're wondering, on the um, 24 LED light bank, I have two sheets of plastic over here. Oh, and I do want to mention that I have a video on YouTube about LED lighting, so in case you want to find out more about it, you can. It's on YouTube. And this is a lighting, it's very inexpensive light. I have two of these that I got either on eBay or on Amazon for like $6 and some change. So it works really great. And this is going to be the light that we're painting with, as I mentioned. So this will be our main light. And for our fill, I chose to use, it's a video light, has I believe 126 LED light units on here. Now I chose to use this for a couple of reasons. One is because it's adjustable and I could just set the uh, amount of light that I need on here. And also because um, it's going to be dark when we do the photography, so it's going to be a little bit hard to focus. So just by using this light on here, I can just focus and I can turn it down to the proper setting that I'm going to be using. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can actually use, because I did test, you can actually use this as a fill. This is the... Uh, 24 light bank and then you can just maybe get a small light stand or some kind of a stand to hold it or you can even hold it here with your hand in front of the camera as you take the photographs and you can also use your existing room light if you like to as well as long as it doesn't overpower your LED lights that you're going to be using now let me just show you here because when we do this, it's going to be dark, but basically what I'm doing is I'm taking this light. Like I said, we're going to be using the three. Now, if you don't have one of these, you can basically use any LED or regular flashlight if you want to. You can even use one of these units here. Probably get these for about a dollar at the dollar store, but I just chose to use this one here because I really... Well, you just got used to using it, so, and it's very inexpensive. So, in a sense, what we're doing is, once I set the camera up, I focus, I make the exposure. Our exposure is going to be 20 seconds at F19, and it's at ISO 100. And, of course, the camera is always on the tripod. So, once I press the shutter, it's going for 20 seconds, I walk behind, I take this light, just and I'm going behind and I'm careful not to be in the view of the camera so my hand and my lights not going to be shown so I'm just going to come in from the back and we're just painting with light just like that for just a few seconds in fact each time you do this you're going to get a different result you can do different tests and see which one you like the best very very simple to do now the next thing I want to mention is the camera that I'm going to be using. Actually, you can use any camera as long as you have a manual setting on your camera because you have to adjust your, your lens speed and your aperture, as I mentioned, because we're using it 20 seconds at f19. And just to make it fair, <clears throat> the camera that I chose is the 11-year-old Fuji S2. It's still one of my favorite cameras, the old cameras anyway, that I still have, and I still use this camera several times a week doing small products. And of course, 
mounted on a tripod. And the lens I'm using here is basically a, an inexpensive Nikon lens. It's the Nikkor 28-105mm and it's uh, 3.5, 4.5. So it's not a real expensive lens. And this particular lens also has a macro setting. So if I need to go real close with this, I can. Anyway, this is the camera I'm using. So just to keep it fair, I'm using an 11-year-old SLR, the Fuji S2. But you can use uh, your probably uh, small compact camera as long as you can adjust your settings on here. So that's basically the simple tools that we need. Simple lighting. So let's get started. All right, so we're going to walk over to the camera, turn on the LED light, focus. We're going to make the exposure. And the exposure that we're making now is flat lit, kind of boring because we don't have any dimension to it. So by painting with that little LED light from behind, we're sort of adding some highlights onto the camera. And that's going to give us a nice three-dimensional effect. So there you have it. A great way of getting some really beautiful images quickly and economically. For more information about learning photography, please visit www.photofons.com. Thank you.